Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about the new iThemes Security Site Scan. It's the new WordPress security scanner powered by iThemes. Alright, now let's talk about what the new site scan is actually going to look for. Now the first thing it's going to look for is to see if you have any software with known vulnerabilities installed on your site. This could be an outdated version of WordPress, a plugin, or even a theme installed on your site with a known vulnerability. The next thing on the site scans to do list is to check the URLs of your site to see if any of them are associated with malicious web resources. And finally, the site scan is going to check your Google Safe Browsing blacklist status. So now I'm going to show you how to configure iTheme Security Pro to automate the site scan and to automatically apply security patches when one is available. To enable twice daily security scans, navigate to the main page of the iTheme Security Pro settings. Now once on the settings page, scroll down until you see the site scan scheduling module. And once you find the module, just click the enable button. All right, and now your site will automatically receive the security scan each day. And if you ever find yourself needing to run a manual security scan, let's just scroll on up until we find the site scan widget. And then from here, we can click the scan now button. And we can see that the results of the site scan are displayed right here in the widget. And it looks like we have a warning that we have known vulnerabilities installed on the site. So we can go ahead and click the show detail button. And we can see that we have a plugin installed that has multiple vulnerabilities. So what I love about the site scan feature is that it integrates with the iTheme Security Pro version management feature, which means that we can configure iTheme Security Pro to automatically apply security patches when one is available. So I'm going to show you how to set that up right now. Let's go ahead and scroll down to the version management settings. Click configure settings and then down here at the bottom of the page we can see that we have an option to automatically update if it fixes a vulnerability. So once we click that we can click save settings and then so the next time the site scanner finds a vulnerability and if there's an update available it will go ahead and patch that for you. All right, that's going to do it for this video, but don't forget to hit that subscribe button to see more videos about all things WordPress. Hey, have a great day.